hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna to be talking about tumblers. So I wanna show you this very cute, fun project and um, how to measure and do your project. So, all right, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so I am going to a bingo party. Every table <laughs> has a theme. So our theme is disco. And so I immediately thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do the cutest tumblers. I found a, um, you know, sort of like that disco background, took it into Canva and just added the names, added some roller skates and a heart. And look at how like, it's so 70s, right? And so good. So anyway, I started doing a few of these and then I thought, oh my gosh, like I don't have enough tumblers. So I went back in uh, my supply closet, pulled out some tumblers and I'm like, oh my goodness, these are way big. So these are the ones that I started with, right? So these are the 20 ounce tumblers. I don't have any more 20 ounce tumblers, so I pulled out this one. Look at the difference. I mean, it's just ginormous, right? So I thought, well, not a big deal. I'm gonna measure, just resize my, um, my project. Well, here's the problem. So first of all, if you don't know how to measure, this is how I do it. So you take, um, you know, measuring tape because it's round, right? So a ruler is really not gonna help us here. So what you wanna do is, you want to measure from top now not i mean so i don't have those tumblers right now but sometimes this tumbler has a lid so obviously we're not going to measure the lid but some tumblers have like a little rim don't measure the rim because you don't want to sublimate on that um so here we go this is basically uh, a little bit over nine and a quarter right in between nine and a quarter and nine and a half. But here's the thing. It has a rounded edge. So what I found is I don't wanna go all the way to the edge. I wanna to go to where it's still straight because what happens is when you, the sublimation paper is kind of thick. So when you start to fold things over, it causes like a ripple effect. And so you may like, there might be a bubble up here or something. And then all of a sudden your project's not going to sublimate um, completely you know down it's gonna look like there were issues with with the pressing part so if you want to look at this again and we remeasure i would say nine and a quarter is good because it will get to this flat area up here so we're at nine and a quarter one way right and then this way let's measure all the way around and we're basically at 10 inches so at nine and a quarter and 10 inches I'm a little bit screwed with my printer because <laughs> my printer is only eight and a half um, by 11, right? So here's the thing. When you're dealing with 30 ounce tumblers, like giant tumblers like this, and you don't have an extra, you know, a printer where you can print longer, um, because even eight and a half by 14 isn't gonna do it, right? Because my shortest, uh, my shortest length is nine, nine and a, and a quarter, right? So. You can do two things. Um, one is you don't have a full wrap design. If you had little images here and there, it really doesn't matter. You cut them out and then you put you tape it on, okay? In this case, um, I do still wanna do a wrap around, but I'm lucky because the design is a disco, like the, um, you know, the, just the, like the metallic, the little mirrors, right? So I, this is, this is my plan. So what you want to do is I measured it so that I have a full, you know, a full wrap up until I don't, right? And then I'm going to take the excess of this and I'm going to wrap it over. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to do this. First off, I want to cut off the ends because I want to get a really good wrap and I want to put this end where it's still straight, right? So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to line this up. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my sublimation 
um, my heat resistant tape. So give me one second. So I'm gonna take it out here. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to line this up, not all the way to the edge, right? So you can kind of see there's there's like some excess right here. And I want that because I want this to wrap around. Oops, and I actually want to cut off the edges. So let's do this really quickly. So like I said, you could just pick a different design where it's not a full wrap. So that would be the easiest thing. If you still choose to do a wrap like this, you want to make sure that it's something that you can um, sort of um, add on and and not notice if it's not completely perfect because it will be hard to make it perfect. But in this case, with this, you know, kind of like disco ball look, you're not going to notice it. All right, so I've got everything cut off, right? So now I'm going to line this up. And luckily, I only have, it's just the name of one, one, one area, and then the rest is just the disco ball. So that means it doesn't really matter where we are on here, because the rest is going to be disco ball, right? So I just want to make sure that I line this up. And you see, like, this makes it easier, because it's not all the way to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap, I'm going to tape this down. And see how it lays flat I want that I'm going to um, do a little tab right here so that later when it's super hot and I need to peel this off it will be easier to peel off so I want a good wrap I don't want any bubbles so see that looks good this looks good on this side I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it but you see how it's just laying flat so I'm gonna do the same thing over here um, I am a person that believes in I'd rather over tape than under tape because the tape is not as expensive as a whole new blank. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to tape around here and do this. Okay, so now I've got this down, right? Looks good so far. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra one. I printed one where it was just the disco ball, no names. So it just gave me, you know, extras of this. So I'm going to trim the bottom because again, I don't want the paper to, to um, fall over the edge. And so I'm gonna do this. Okay. And this paper is wider than my gap. So I don't care that this is here because I'm gonna put it down in the middle and we're not gonna see it at all. But I'm only gonna do one side at a time. So I'm gonna put this down like this. Make sure that everything's nice and flat so that my design is flat on my blank. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this down. And I'm gonna start taping. Oh, <laughs> hard to do it with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna tape it from here. And I'm just gonna do that little tab. Okay. And then I'm gonna tape a little bit longer and overlap the tab. I should have just pulled a super long piece, but I felt like it was, I wanted to get some of this down and then do a tab right here. Okay, that, you know, I'm gonna do that little piece. I wanna make sure it's down. Okay, so this is laying flat. This is all good. I'm gonna wrap it over here. And that feels really good. So you see how it's nice and flat, no bubbles. Everything is, it's still straight. So I know it's a good, it's a good wrap. All right, so now I'm going to Now I can let go a little bit.
And that's how we're gonna do an oversized tumbler. All right, I will see you next time. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna bring over my tumbler press because I wanna show you the gap. So when you're using a tumbler press, give me one second. And in fact, since I'm bringing this over, I might as well press it, right? <laughs> so, okay, let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna put the tumbler press down. Okay, so this is the tumbler press from Craft Express. And I'm just gonna plug it in right now. It's super easy to use. You just hit the button over here. All right, so what you want to do is we want to wait for it to get hot but what you're going to notice is because it's so thick there's going to be a gap up here now the other thing with a tumbler press is these little screws up here is to change out the attachment these black ones back here do you see these little knobs right here this is to change how wide this opening is. So the knob's gonna be tighter when you have a skinnier tumbler because you need it to wrap tightly when you close. You're gonna feel the pressure and it's gonna, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break, break, but you're gonna feel like a little pull and then it shuts. So we're gonna wait for this to heat up and I'm just gonna show you really quickly. Actually, we'll have to wait. Should I have this plugged in? But it, there's just no space. <laughs> so, all right. Um, now, this is, while this video is going on, uh, sublimation camp is going on. So, I don't know if you've seen it, but I am one of the camp counselors. The hosts are um, Corey George and Angie Holden. So, they've put on an amazing sublimation camp. It pretty much has everything that you possibly need. So, if you're thinking about sublimation, it's a great camp for you. And if you're not a beginner, we have lots of projects for you as well. There are so many amazing camp counselors, including Jennifer Maker. Um, and so you just know the projects are good. So anyway, sign up on my website for the free pass. Um, it's going on today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So you'll still be able to catch some of the free things. And then if you want more access to it, if you want the replays, then you can um, get the the, and actually um, buy the VIP pass. So, all right, this is heating up. It's almost there. I'm going to grab. Now, one of the things um, that I have been learning is that when you heat up something, as soon as it's done, you want to unwrap it. And the reason why you want to unwrap it is it's very similar to cooking. Um, in that the heat, it's still very, very hot, right? Obviously, I'm gonna put on gloves, it is hot. So what you wanna do is you wanna remove the wrap right away. Otherwise, it's still cooking and you could overheat it. Um, it's gonna depend on the colors. Sometimes you may have overheated something and didn't even realize it because the project still turns out amazing. Um, but other times you'll notice, like I had one where I did the hair, you know, it was a picture of me. My hair is, you know, on the lighter side, but by the time it came out, it looked orange. Um, there was just too much heat on there. <laughs> so that is why, all right, we're heating up. We're almost there. You wanna heat this for 120 seconds total. Um, the only thing is because there's gonna be a gap because it's so wide, we're going to halfway through it, we're gonna open it up and rotate it. Um, and so that will get make sure that the whole thing is getting heat. And because it's wrapped too, it's still good. The part that is in the cracked area, th there's enough heat generating and it got the press before for, for a whole minute. So it'll still be good. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you while we're waiting for this to heat up. Um, the other thing that I've learned with sublimation is that if the pressure is too tight right here, 
your paper will almost feel like it's glued on and it's you can't peel it off uh, you can peel it off but you can't peel it off with your fingers you actually um oh, it's happened to me a few times what you end up doing is you go to the sink soak it in water because we know that it got enough heat and obviously it got enough pressure it got too much pressure <laughs> um that the sublimation turned into a gas, right? The ink turned into a gas and it's embedded in the blink. So it can withstand all the scrubbing, it can withstand um, the dishwasher, super hot you know, water and all of that. So you just need to scrub it off and that's annoying. So you wanna make sure that when something like that happens, know that there's too much pressure. So ease up on the pressure, whether it's the you know, handheld heat press, if you were doing you know, something there, or in this case, the tumbler press. Oh, and speaking of the Tumblr press, so if you sign up for the free pass on my website, if you scroll down on that Sublimation Camp page, I am giving away with Craft Express this very Tumblr press. So enter in there. It the the giveaway is not for a couple of weeks, so you have time. And so this video will be up. You'll watch it, and you can still you know um, enter to win. All right, I think we're ready. So I'm gonna put this in. And I'm gonna stick it in this way. All right, so it barely fits in here too. So I wanna make sure I'm right where I need to be, okay? And then I'm gonna close this up. So you kind of feel that, it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna break it, but I can feel tension when I push it down like this. So I'm gonna wait for 60 seconds. This thing right here, this gap, I'm gonna to need to rotate the tumbler, okay? So we'll rotate the tumbler halfway through and then we'll do it for another 60 seconds and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna move this a little bit this way. Yeah, one of the things that I really love about sublimation is that you get all the details. Whatever it is that you see that you design or pictures, it will get on there and it's just amazing. I mean, we're getting this like neon effect. Um, I just love it. It's just all the details that you really can't do with um, vinyl. All right, so I'm gonna pop this open, rotate this. So I noticed that that's where the tape is, right? So I'm gonna do this. All right, do it for another 60 seconds. And I'm a little bit worried. So what happened is the last time I used the tumbler press, I used it for something very slim. So I had adjusted the knobs and I'm almost wondering if this is gonna be too much pressure. But we'll know in a second when, when we pull this out and if it doesn't come off, then I'll know what, I'll loosen it up for the next one. But all right, we are about 30 seconds away. Um, yeah, <laughs> you never know, right? When you un, un um, uh, when you reveal and un unveil it, uh, you will see whether or not you did well. But I would say for the most part, sublimation projects are so fun because, like I said, you can do anything, um, and the projects are always so pretty. Uh, everyone loves it for gifts, so it's usually. But you know, it's it's whenever you have a blooper, it's just you can't help but laugh because it's. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, 60 seconds. I'm gonna pull this out. Let's see what we have. Okay, I realize that my tumbler press is in the way. I'm gonna pull this. It looks good and my paper's coming off. So you see there is my extended piece. All right, oh, it looks good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put on, oh, I don't have another glove. But what I can do is, so I'll show you. Remember how we had, ooh, it's super hot right now. So here it is. It went all the way around and it looks amazing. <laughs> all right, the only thing is at the bottom, there's that white, um, that white rim. But honestly, I don't mind it. I'd rather have that white rim than to have it impact my um, 
my project elsewhere. All right, well, let me know if you have any comments or questions, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>